Oh, look how pink my cheeks are. Good. Oh. <laughs> Good morning everyone, welcome to day one of Vlogmas, woo! Uh, this is me, first thing in the morning. Oh my word, it is properly frosty this morning. Look at this. Look at the mist. Oh, it's so pretty. Get with it, Loki! <laughs> I think I must be the only YouTuber, if I count myself as a YouTuber yet, I'm not quite sure. But anyway, I think I must be the only one that doesn't actually have a an advent calendar to open today, which is a little bit sad. But I don't really like the cheapy chocolates in advent calendars, so... I don't mind, but I think I will pop out to Tesco's later and see what they've got left and get a couple for the kids. Oh, the grass is really slippery. So it's the first day and I feel really bad because I don't really have anything. Oh, is that too loud? I'll wait for that to pass. Okay, it's a little bit quieter down here. Um, what was I saying? Oh yes, I feel, um, I feel a bit bad because I'm not ready for the 1st of December. I, it has crept up on me. It's all frosty, Loki. <laughs> Is that funny? No, don't. Don't eat it. Yes, I do have the obligatory YouTuber dog, but um, not quite the little one that you usually see. No pug or sausage dog here. We have a Neapolitan Mastiff, and his name is Loki. He was named after the Roman god of mischief because the breed are from ancient Roman times. They were guard dogs then. A little bit of fun fact for you. Yes, I'm um, back to what I was saying again sorry about my ramblings you'll get used to me <laughs> we've got 24 days of this you will get used to it and my glasses are sort of fogging up um right what am i what was i saying oh yes not being prepared yes yeah, so today is going to be a bit of a a normal vlog day really because i've got nothing christmasy happening the kids are both out late one is working one's at university so so we can't do the decorations together today and besides which I can't really get them out of the roof yet because I haven't cleared the guest room and that's where all of the boxes are going to go we do have quite a lot of Christmas decoration boxes not just like the one suitcase that many a family have <laughs> oh it's quite hard work walking and talking I'm getting quite out of breath so yeah today I'm just going to take you along with me and it'll be a typical day in the life of me really which I hope isn't too boring um, please stick around don't 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 judge the whole month just for today not having anything to do please because honestly I do get a little bit more interesting than this sometimes <laughs> so I'll be um, taking you along with me to um, the lo just local Christmas events that I'll be going to and I'll be doing a lot of arty crafty stuff um, if you've been following the renovation side of my blog then you might find this interesting because you'll actually see it on video rather than just a few photographs so um, you'll see what we've done so far and things that I still we still want to do before the guests arrive at Christmas and that sort of thing um, I'm not selling it very well <laughs> I hope you stick around <laughs> I'm gonna stop vlogging now because I've got a hill to climb so I'll see you in a minute back indoors look how foggy it is though and the frost is so pretty and the temperature this morning I think that's minus two the postman's been since I've been gone Oh, gosh. 
that paper didn't do very well on the post. We did try and get this house vlogmas ready. In other words, not completely embarrassing, but we didn't quite manage it. We're running behind, but we are making progress. So hopefully you will get to see a tidy house quite soon because yeah, tidiness is not our strong point. There's not one person in our family that's good at it. Um, there's no point in pretending. But we do love it when it's tidy, so it's a good excuse, it's a good reason. We must, must have a really good clean and tidy up. Anyway, let's go, let's see what I've got. Well, to be honest, I know what this is. It's, it's shoebox shaped. Let's see if I can pop this next to me. Yeah, I, I know what these are, I think, because I did buy myself a pair of shoes on eBay a couple of days ago. Gosh, they're in the original box. This is them. Oh, and the original, wow. I bought these, it's because I did a, um, I did a weekly wardrobe post um, last week in a, um, when we dressed up to go and see Fantastic Beasts and where to find them, we tried to go sort of 1920s style and I just didn't know what clothes, I didn't know what shoes to wear. Um, I, I did find some in some really big high heels that were, that looked quite good with the outfit, but, but then last week's weekly wardrobe I wore a sort of 1940s dress and again I didn't really know what shoes to wear with it. So, I thought these, I wasn't sure about this like whole heel bit but I think I quite like it. Oh, dog slobber, dog slobber alert. Got it. They're actually a little bit on the big side. <laughs> Look at these animals will come to see what I'm doing. I'll introduce you. This is Rafiki. Oh, you met Loki. There's Loki. <laughs> yes. There's Tinkerbell hiding in the shadows. Oh, I like them. They are big though. I don't think they're a size six. Oh no. I don't know what to do about that. This is the risk of buying from eBay, I suppose. Maybe if I put some inner soles in, they'll be all right. I do actually like those. They're very good condition though. So these are blowfish. I'm really getting into blowfish shoes. I do love them. In fact, these boots that I'm wearing are also um, blowfish. And I didn't buy them intending them to be slippers, but they are just so comfortable. And I do have... I feel really old saying this, but I do have weak ankles. Keeping my ankles cosy and warm in the winter um, really just helps. That makes me really old, doesn't it? <laughs> so the other parcel, I think I know what this is as well because the lady sent me a photograph of, of the package. I met this lovely lady when I did the New Forest Fairy Festival. Oh, I've got to be careful opening this up. I met a lovely lady who has kindly sent me some clothes um, to make into to make into fairy dresses. Isn't that kind of her? So thank you very much if you're watching. That was really nice of you. I will turn these into fairy dresses ready for the festival next year. Yeah, if you're not, if you're new here then, and you don't know what I'm talking about, I, um, my usual day job is making dresses, mainly wedding dresses or special occasion dresses. But for the New Forest Fairy Festival, I do make some children's fairy dresses. Um, so, this is what this bundle of clothing will be used for. Right, I have already realised that vlogging my day is makes it take twice as long to do everything. So I'm going to put this down for a bit and just get on with some of the work. No, I'm going to have breakfast first. Yeah, I'll have breakfast. Well, I pretty much haven't left this spot all day long, so I haven't bothered vlogging it. I've just been sitting at my desk getting work done at the computer. I've had um, 
emails to reply to for work and I edited and uploaded the video introducing Vlogmas that's just gone up and then I had another couple of YouTube videos that are not related to Vlogmas um, I'm just selling a bunch of clothes, vintage clothes on eBay and I thought I'd just do a quick video so people could see them properly um, Oh, I'm saying um a lot. I'm going to have to edit all this out. So, um, stop saying um. And all of a sudden, it's the middle of the afternoon. The post office is going to do its last collection very soon. So I need to package up an order for Oshun. Um, someone's bought a leather cuff. I'll show you in a second. Actually, I'll go and get it now. I've still got so many jobs to get done today. I don't know. I don't know where the time goes. I can't believe it's December. It's all through my house. So this is the room. Look at these clothes. That's just about half of my fabric stash. Maybe not even that actually, if I'm honest. Now then, this is where I've got the stuff. This is where the displays are from when I was doing festivals in the summer. So they shouldn't be too hard to find. It might be with my leather things. Just a second. Here we are. Here it is. Oh, that wasn't too bad. I thought I was going to spend hours searching through them. As we're here, I'll show you anyway. These are some leather things that I've made. My friend Rain has given me some leather offcuts and I've bought a bunch as well. Um, this is the leather cuff that's sold. A little owl charm on there. And I don't know if the light is good enough. Here, but um, I have pyrographed like swirls all over. You might be able to see it a bit better there. And it just wrap, wraps around and ties up with this bit of silk, wire wrapped silk, and that's that. The other ones I've got here are feathers are popular. I do quite a few feather cuffs like that. Um, this one has a genuine Neolithic arrowhead on it. Um, this one's a purple feather. There's no way you're going to be able to see that in the light. but And this one's another one with an arrowhead on it. And this one wraps around. Um, there's no pyrography on the actual leather, but the leather strap to fasten it has like patterns all the way along. So there we are, that's some of the things I make for festivals. By the way, it's not very cost effective to smell, smell? <laughs> to sell smaller items like this on Etsy. It just takes so long to photograph, less describe, measure and everything else. Um, so you end up making a loss on those small items. So if there's anything you saw just then, they're probably not on the Ocean website. So just leave me a comment or message me or get email me. All the links to how to contact me are down below in the description. And um, I could send you one if you fancy one for Christmas or to send one as a present. Just a sort of a little self-promotion there. Sorry about that. <laughs> Right, I've now got all of the boring admin -y jobs done today. Um, the next thing off my list, here's today's list, I'm getting them ticked off gradually is to fill in my statistics on this book which I so I thought I'd do a quick book review while I'm at it it's called 2016 your best year 
from Lisa Jacobs a productivity workbook and creative business planner I didn't buy this till March actually my no April I bought it in March and then I started filling it out in April and I wish I'd got it at the start of the year because I really really love it actually I'll just show you what's the sort of thing it has so for every month now um okay I'll show you October's <clears throat> first of all um you've got your monthly planner with your appointments now that's not something I really use because I don't refer to this for that sort of thing that goes in what would you call that um, that goes in my diary um, I always intend to fill it out for other things like blogging stuff I haven't quite got into the hang of that yet I might use next year's a bit differently I'll show you next year's in a sec then you've got your to-do list down there and then you've got another to-do list so I don't understand why you've got two I never some of the things in this book I don't quite understand but she did make changes so I think she's sort of listened to people's feedback um, you've got a box for priorities and projects goals to work on special events and appointments to remember um, new habit to adopt this month what is it time to stop doing um, and then you've got primary tasks to complete for each week and tick box for whether you um, actually did do your new habit. And then at the bottom here, if you've, you've got your progress tracker, your record of your previous month's numbers. So their suggestions are Facebook, Pinterest, email, views and sales. I've added Instagram followers, revenue, Twitter followers, blog loving followers and YouTube followers and um, some of those things I also add so I've got one for my actual business which is called Oshun and one for the blog because that's a more of a recent thing that I'm taking seriously so um, that's those pages and then you have the month in review so you've got memorable moments goal progress financial spiritual mental relational and physical projects completed this month, projects still in the works, most important to me right now, what do I need to improve? And then it continues, new habit I wanted to adopt, was it a success? Um, if yes, next good habit to adopt, if no, what I'll do next to make it work? Um, did this month get me closer to my annual objectives? If yes, how will I keep that momentum? If no, what will I do to get back on track? What worked well this month and why? What obstacles am I facing? And then things like, was it why was it difficult? What can I try next? And uh, as you can see, some of these are blank. I don't always get round to filling it all out. Just a second, Jude's just off. Bye! Hang on, back in a minute. Sorry, that was just my youngest daughter going off to work saying goodbye. Um, right, where was I? Yeah, I, I don't always have time to fill out everything. So I do find it really helpful to try and keep on track because I do, I do need to focus. I need to have my list of things I have to do, list of things I like want to do, and then list of things that I could do if I have time, which that list never happens. But um, also the the actual goal tracker where you fill in your numbers I find that yeah I find looking at the numbers actually really helpful and just it boosts me up a bit because those numbers are going up and if I kind of feel that I'm, I've had a crappy month or nothing's particularly got accomplished I can look through the year and actually you know now it's becoming now it is the end of the year I have started to think about the year you know reviewing the year and looking at the numbers they are creeping up they may be slow but you know we can't always get to the finishing point as quick as we want to and who knows where the finishing point is anyway 
So I do recommend this book. It is really helpful. I mean, it's not just bits to fill, in, fill out. That there's a load of advice at the beginning, pages and pages. You've got other bits for the whole year to keep track of. And you've also got bits to fill in quarterly to keep your track. So you, you're constantly reviewing where you're at and setting your next goals for the next months ahead, which I find really nice actually. And I did by myself the next year one your best year 2017 there are differences I don't think you get the monthly planner in this one um, monthly challenge to accomplish this month there's much more focus on earnings in this one which I know it's not fashionable it's not to talk about wanting money I mean but at the end of the day, we need it to pay our rent and our, buy our food and stuff like that. So it is important, particularly when you've got a creative business. It's hard. It's, it's hard work to actually earn a living from it. So I can sort of understand why that's been done. Um, a lot of it is just a different sort of layout with the same things. Um, and these are slightly different. What I shall do is I'll actually write a blog post reviewing these books properly and doing a proper comparison. But um, if you know somebody who has a creative business, I would really recommend this as a Christmas present. Yeah, I think anyone with a creative business would actually really appreciate this. It's really good to um, keep on track of, of everything and I enjoy filling out all the boxes even if I don't actually look at it from one month to the next <laughs> it's just fun to do and it does help me it does it does help me focus my mind and I can hear the dog sort of whining in the background so I'm going to stop that there yeah if you're interested in more look out on the blog I'll do that in a few days yeah you want to make sure you've got this at the beginning of the year but it's because it's nice in January you do want to set yourself goals for the year ahead don't you so Anyway, I'm rambling. I'm going to take that dog out and then I shall fill it in. I still haven't done that yet. I won't take you on this walk. I'll show you why. We have had thick fog all day long. Although I hate these really short days, it's now at the point where we are so close to the shortest day of the year that we're almost at the point where they start to get longer again. So it's almost like spring is in our grasp, even though the weather probably doesn't quite agree. Right, okay, I'm gonna go wrap up, get my coat and gloves on and hat on and have a walk in that misty, murky fog. See you later. Well, I didn't get much of that book filled in um, with December's goals yet. Um, I was just distracted <laughs> with more emails and getting my Instagram up and important things like that. Um, I just thought I'd do a quick outfit of the day. I don't know how well you can see this. This is the first time I've worn this dress. It's got the label um, apricot in it, but it, I know that Joe Brown's do want exactly the same. And I've seen another one on eBay um, with a different label, and it's also exactly the same. So those companies are obviously sharing the pattern for some reason. I bought this in a charity shop in Wells. I was so pleased because I'd just seen it on eBay and I got I forgot about it or was outbid, I can't remember. And then I walked into the charity shop the next day and there it was, couldn't believe it. Um quite pleased. It's quite a cool dress. It's quite flattering too, a little short. But there we are. <laughs> Cause they are proper boots from Blowfish. So I'm just gonna keep them on. They're no different to Ugg boots really. I know they do look a bit slippery, but they're so warm and cosy. I'm just going to be naughty and keep those on. I did have my Harry Potter cardigan earlier. You probably saw it, but um, as I'm wearing a coat, actually, I might try. Bear with me. I like this. I bought this cardigan yesterday on a different shopping, no, Monday, on a different shopping trip. And I got this in a charity shop. It's Marks and Spencers. It looks absolutely unworn, no bobbling whatsoever, and it was only four pounds. I'll have to get you then. I'll have to write the note. Actually, I'm going to do a charity shop haul soon on my blog, so I'll put the actual names of the charity shops 
in that because the one I got the cardigan from is really good value. The one I got the dress from, not quite so much. This was £10 and is quite worn. It's quite bobbly in places, although because of the colour it doesn't really show. I'm really pleased I haven't worn this cardigan yet before and it goes so perfectly with this dress. And it gives a bit of length, which is ideal because because now I'm on my way to youth club. I run the local youth club. Um, I'm not staying there tonight. I've just got to go down and unlock and set up and take down all the sweets. So I've got to go and do that now. And then I'm going to pop over to Tesco's because I need to... Um, I bought something for one of the kids. I won't say what, just in case they see this. Um, and I got it home and then found one of those tags on it. So I've got to go and back and get the tag removed. Um, okay. What else am I doing? No, that's it for now. Nothing all that exciting. Oh God, I'm so embarrassed. I hope you didn't see the video <laughs> that I put up earlier. I was in Tesco's and I got a call from my husband Chris and he said, I'm not sure you meant this to be on the end of your video. Oh, I'm so stupid. I put up, what I did was I edited the introduction to Vlogmas video, already added the music and everything, and then I couldn't find a nice thumbnail, so I brought back down onto my editing bit, the whole thing unedited, to look for a better picture for the thumbnail, and I left it there. Oh God, I'm so embarrassed. I hope you didn't see it. Please tell me you didn't see it because I'm muttering to myself. I'm saying how rubbish I am at doing this and I'm working out what angle is the best angle. Oh God, I'm so embarrassed. And so I totally forgot why I went to Tesco's and I didn't even look for an advent calendar for the kids. Oh, so. My first day of Vlogmas has been a complete and utter disaster. And yeah, I'm I I I don't know whether to just give up now because that was just the ultimate in embarrassment. I really, I really hope you didn't see it. The numbers were quite low, but they were high enough. <laughs> so anyway. Oh the light's gone off. Let me get the light back. The computer screen is doing quite well as being a a light but um it is these glasses are a bit more reflective than the others i think mm. <laughs> oh dear i'm i'm tired i've got a million things to do half the stuff on this list didn't get ticked off today i still haven't brought down the christmas decorations so um and i've got no idea what i'm gonna do tomorrow and i'm just in a complete mess so i don't know not the best end to the 1st of December so I'm sorry I hope um, you didn't mind watching my ramblings I didn't really have a lot to show you today I will try and do better <laughs> so please wish me luck for the rest of December and I um, I hope you come back please don't be put off by today or oh, oh, please don't please don't be put off by the terrible introduction oh oh this could be my thumbnail Oh, I did so bad. Right, I think the best thing for me to do is just go and have a bath and get into bed and try again tomorrow. Keep trying. Try, try again. Okay, I'm going to end today here and, um, well, hopefully I'll see you tomorrow if you haven't been totally put off by me today. <laughs> Bye.